Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool and I'm outside with my snap-on grill and we're going to take the TopTest PT210 combustible gas leak detector for a spin here. I'm going to compare it to my Klein. Now this thing here uh, sells for almost $100 less than the Klein. Very simple unit, runs on two AAA batteries, um, has two sensitivities, high and low. Basically use high to kind of track down whether or not there's a problem in the general location and then use the low sensitivity uh, in order to zero in right where the hopefully you can find it the gas leak is. Um, as far as combustible gases, um, a lot of common ones are methane, propane, butane, but it, it takes um, uh, or senses about, I don't know, 10 to a dozen different kinds um, and sends out an audio audible alarm as well as you'll see um, the blinking alarm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Calibrate. Same with the Klein. I'm going to go ahead and turn the Klein on here and uh, get my snap-on grill ready to go. Um, I do use sensors with other things, like if you've got a, one of the Coleman propane stoves, this is a little um, arm that screws onto the outside. These are notorious for leaking, both leaking here and especially leaking where it goes into the stove, which often causes, you know, things to burst into flames. So anyway, the um, another place would be um, with the smaller uh, butane stoves. Um, often these things, especially if you use them in gritty environments and, you know, desert environments, they can, uh, the O-rings can get damaged or you just, through wear and tear, overheating um, and grit in the mechanism. So if you don't clean them regularly, you can actually get leakage here. And sometimes these canisters just leak. So, um, you know, you could throw it in a bag with the sensor and then it'll actually tell you if there's something coming out of it. So, these are both telling me that they're ready to go. Um, I've got both, uh, move the camera a little closer here. Okay, I've got both um, sensors right by each other. And then the Klein's over here, it's clicking on the high sensitivity here. And this one, if I look close, um, is also set for high. So these are gonna go off pretty quick. Let's see what happens. What I'm gonna do is give it a little juice down here and see. Okay, as you saw, the top test fired off before the Klein, and now I've shut the gas off right away, so we're going to see how it deals with the, uh, the reduction in gas. There's nothing new going in, so it's just the air currents kind of carrying that away. I can smell it as it's moving around. Now, one of the things you can do with this Klein, because it has the longer gooseneck, is you can actually uh, insert it into places and keep the, the meter outside of the, um, the chamber you're testing. This one you would have to drop into the entire chamber, but as you can see, I could close this onto this um, if I was wondering about an actual leak. Blow some of that stuff out. Maybe I'll set it to low so we can see how these deal with the low. Still picking up a lot there. The Klein is backed off. This one's still quite sensitive. There it goes, it's dropping down. So we're getting pretty good parity between the two. One of the things you want is a fast reaction, and you know, especially if it's in a dangerous environment, got an airplane flying over me. And we've got a, um, uh, the ability to give us some indication. It's not just maximum and minimum, that there is some, some uh, and with both of them, there is some actual uh, degree of amount. There's still some little pockets in there because there's not much wind back here. Anyway, um, the top tests, uh, you can order it on Amazon starting uh, tomorrow, actually. Um, it has been available in other, like the UK Amazon store, but not in America, but it is now available, I think, or will be tomorrow available in America. Um, there are lots of small fa form factor um, combustible gas leak detectors, so if you don't have one, it's a good thing to have in your toolkit. Uh, if you're ever curious or you're working around gas, it's just a fast way. Um, and some gas 
doesn't really have much of a smell or any smell, so um, this does the work for you. And uh, with that, dock out. <laughs>